Dancer. Dancer. A solo mirror sits. A dancer. He puts his foot up on the bar. Stretching warm muscle. But there's a higher bar. Stretching his heart too and his soul. Stretching himself so that the creativity can emerge. He is not bound by the constraints of clothing. Because he is stretched so well. Oh, 
shutting the window and I just must have heard a random residual <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Please, Papa. I look I was you're using you're using New York words. We use yeah. Indianapolis words. <laughs> words like bread. <laughs> Just to be basking in your glory, Dean. Oh, well, then do it. 
know your story, all right? Look at him. What? <laughs> Look at him. Read his lips. The born with the mud This is what's going on with this show. My kid's brother Billy can be the greatest performer this town's ever seen. The greatest. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. They fail to recognize we're rarely doing Shakespeare on Broadway. Shakespeare. <laughs> 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 Yes, he was an English writer. <laughs> what? Anyway, <laughs> there's three things you need to make it in Broadway. One of them is boxing. You've certainly brought that along. All right? Shall I just have the Hella Jet Hubbers? Yes, Hella Jet Hubbers. I can hear him! You, you can hear him? Well, he might be great. Do you see, Mr. Johnson? He can feel the vibration of the audience. He can play them. I'm not going to say no right now, but I'll tell you what, on Monday night we usually duck, but there are a few giant benefactors of the stage that like to, every once in a while, have sort of a, a talent show, if you will. Can you bring in the odds and the ends and the spectrum? If you can stand out that night, then maybe you get a chance. We don't need a chance, because he'll do it, Mr. Johnson. Billy's going to do it. He's going to be the greatest deaf Shakespearean actor in this town. You're going to be the greatest Shakespearean actor. Oh, yeah! Ever. The greatest! <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So is possible! We've already got two audience members right there, Master Johnson. Uh, Master Johnson? Nobody calls him that but our house girl. <laughs> <laughs> Master Johnson!
Oh no. <laughs> well, I'll play dueling pianos with anybody. It's one of my favorite things to do. I go down to the old folks' home, and they just touch the keys, and I play piano. <laughs>
seems that Guy has turned Warhorse to play in a Warhorse to music
Excuse me. Are you two finished? <laughs> we were doing background talk. Darling, it's Gene! This I know. Gerard has never been, uh, how you say, gentle on my associates. <laughs> that's right. Huh? You realize that's my wife, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I could talk their language. We won't understand you. Haven't you seen that film, you 
beautiful girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard of that film. No, it's uh, Natalie Portman's second film. Who's uh, Natalie Portman? Well, it's not important, but she's a lovely, lovely girl. <laughs> uh, I love her in that film, The 30, but I still love her. <laughs> hey, wasn't she 13 in that film? You fucking pervert! She was younger in the professional! Fuck off! <laughs> Special. We will eat the loser. <laughs> 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 